Hey everyone, Dustin Porter here with another adventure. I don't really know exactly where I am or where I'm going, but I got a cool lead on an abandoned steam barge from the Gold Rush era. So I've been walking for a couple kilometers. Uh, I think I'm in the right place, but I don't really know. So I guess I'll just keep on walking here. Uh, I'm supposed to be going over a creek at some point in time. I haven't found a creek yet, but I'll let you know if I get there. Well, I'm still walking, and the problem with the directions I got is these roads are all dirt roads out here. There's no signs or anything. And I was told that you take a left and then you take a right, and you follow that through a field, and then through a creek, and then on a quad trail, and you're there. And there's a hundred rights and a hundred lefts, and a handful of fields, 10 creeks, and a thousand quad trails. So who knows, I could be in the total wrong spot. But I did find a creek. Uh, the only problem is I have a camera on my back, and this is the only way across. So I'm not liking that very much, but I'm gonna give her a try, I guess. Well, I conquered the creek. I conquered an army of prickle bushes that didn't like me very much. Uh, no barge yet, but I did find this cool old cabin, pretty neat. Uh, it's definitely more recent than the Gold Rush because obviously it's still very much intact and it's built with round nails. So yeah, I'm gonna take a little break here and then keep going. All right, so kind of another cool find here. Uh, I noticed a weird kind of flat, unnatural looking piece of land off the road here. So I decided to check it out and there's an old root cellar here. Obviously the top is caved in, they always are, but still a pretty cool find. If all those trees weren't in the way, I'd go in and check it out. Well, you can see behind me now, I've walked all the way down to the Quinnell River. I thought, well, that sucks. And I look to my right, and what do you know? There's a barge. So I'm guessing what they did here was they probably dug a big channel into the, into the land here beside the river and pulled it in there. Uh, I guess it's supposed to be about 60 feet long and it's pretty much become a part of the earth by now. Uh, there's two of these big boilers on here for steam boilers. I don't know how well you can see it through the trees there. And if I walk along, oh, if I walk along, you can see all these holes in the ground. And I think this is where the decking is actually collapsing and the earth is falling in. It's been sitting here for 150 years now, so I don't think it'll be around for that much longer. The second steam boiler is falling off the side here just about into the river. Well, I hop down on the other side. I don't know how deep this thing goes. Uh, quite deep though, I think. Uh, this is the right-hand side of the barge. Goes just into the dirt there. There's that second boiler. Not 100% sure, but I think these holes here is the very left-hand side of the barge. And I think this big one here, I hope you can see that on the video. I think this big hole here 
is the back of the barge and the rivers out there. Well, I'm about 100 feet back into the forest now and I'm still stumbling across big pieces of iron sticking out of the dirt. So I don't know if this could be pieces of the barge still or just leftover iron. Well, I hope you guys were able to get a good look at everything there. It's really hard to try and film something that practically isn't even there. But I mean, what can you expect from something that's sat that long in a river? It's pretty much become part of the earth by now, but it's a cool piece of history. I'm not gonna give the exact location here, but apparently they towed this barge from Quinnell up to here. Uh, it's about a 22 mile stretch of the river and they towed it by horses. I guess there was supposed to be 80 horses on either side of the river and it took, I think, three months to get it from Quinnell to here. It was either one month or three months. Um, I was just told the story one time and, and uh, it's hard to remember all that information, but it's a really cool piece of history, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm gonna look around a little bit more. If I find anything else, I'll show you. If not, I'll catch you on the next adventure.